Um, if you have a pair of light weights, two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, that's awesome. If you don't have any of those, but still want to use weights, you can use um, like cans that you can find in your pantry. You can use water bottles. We all have seen the, you know, the different things we can use. So anything you can find, I mean, wine bottles, I'm not going to judge. Use what you can, okay? Um, and then other than that, you just need some kind of stabilizing surface. So we're just going to be holding on to it at certain points if you need to, but it's not necessary. You could use a wall, you could use the chair, whatever you need. It's not completely necessary, but if you feel like you need a little bit of extra support during some of our exercises, that's what you can do. Um, other than that, a mat, some water, and that's about it. If you don't have any weights, um, totally fine. Is You can do it all with um, body weight as well, okay? All right, we're gonna get started because I wanna make sure we finish on time and start on time. So you guys have little ones, but they are super mobile is what it's looking like. So we'll do our best, <laughs> we always do. We roll with the punches. And if we can include the little ones, we will. If they're just gonna cause a ruckus and do their thing in the background, totally cool too, okay? We're gonna roll with the punches. In the meantime, we're gonna get started with a warm up. So I'm just going to close that and I'll come and check on it every now and then just in case we have some late. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to admit. Okay. All right, there we go. So I'll leave that open just so I can see if there's anyone else coming in. Let's get into our warm up. So excited. All right, you gotta get there on the watch so I stay on time. We are gonna start just with some really nice tap outs, okay? So it's almost like jump jacks, but we've taken the jump out and we're just getting started like this. Good. I always start my Sunday bar classes like this as well. It's just a really nice way to get, get moving. Good. Sit. Couple more. Good. All right. Go four, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to come into some nice body weight squats. So just squat down, stand up and squeeze nice and slow. We're just getting started. You want to open up the hips, warm up the legs. So our weight is in our heels. We're pushing our booty back. And when we're standing, we're squeezing our butt. And it's kind of squeezing that place between where your butt meets your thigh. Yeah. Good. Two more. Good. We're going to take a big step out into a lateral lunge and come back and do the other side. Now we're opening up the back of the legs and the inner thighs. Good. Yes. <laughs> Hello, you're so cute. <laughs> All right, let's go two more. We're gonna go wide, arms out, and we're gonna take this hand and touch the opposite foot. Good. Nice little toe touches here. Good. Good, keep going. Opening up all the back side. Two more. Last one. Good. Stand up tall. We're going to open up the chest. These are my favorite. Arm flats. Feels so good. Opening up the chest, upper back, shoulders. Good. That's it. Arms up to goal pose. And we're just going to rotate the torso. 
Good, nice and easy. Good, let's go wide with the feet, heels in, toes out. We're gonna come down towards the floor and up with the arms, down and up. So we're going a little bit wider with our squat now. Getting the inner thighs used to going a little bit wider. Chest is staying high. Good. Woo. Let's go, two more. <laughs> Good. All right, we're gonna go into some butt kicks. And we're literally just gonna go side to side and kick our own butt. <laughs> Good. All right, we're gonna get into our first series in about 10 seconds. And it's gonna be our second position. So we're gonna be there in four, three, two, one. No weights needed for this one. This is where you might need your stabilizing surface. It's not handy to have. So if you have like the back of the chair, the wall, um, anything will do. Just it's kind of like a fingertips kind of thing, so we don't have to like full on grab, okay? So with our feet, we're gonna go wide. Heels are coming in, toes are out, okay? And what we wanna do is start dipping. Okay, so join me when you're ready. Body-wise, what we want is our shoulders over our hips and our crown over our shoulders. So I'm gonna show you from the side. It is a straight down motion, almost like you're gliding along a pane of glass with a wall. What we don't want is the booty hanging out. Not in this one. This one is very much straight. We are working our inner thighs. So that's why we're turning our legs so that our thighs are pointing out. Good. If you need extra support, you can hang on to that bar or wall or chair. Okay, we're going to go into tiny dips. Good, in four counts. So we're gonna hold low and just do tiny dips in two and one right here, tiny dips. Good, holding on to these tiny dips. Woo, already feeling it, already there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna lift and lower our heel and hold low in eight counts. So it's just tiny movements here in these low depths. That's it. Good. In four, three, two, one. Hold low, lift the heels, lower the heels. Lift, lower. So we're just holding low in that very wide second position and lifting and lowering our heels. Oh my Lord. Here we go. Woo! Good, lift, lower. All right, eight counts. We're gonna put those heels back down and we're gonna butterfly tap our knees. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna push our legs backwards in two and one. So we're gonna hold low and tap our legs back. This movement is coming from where the butt meets the thigh and our knees are falling. It's a very slight movement. But basically your knees and your legs are tapping back. Very little movement, very effective. Hold low. Good. Oh my Lord, the burn. Keep going. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Back to full dips. Right here. Yeah, dip. So we don't want to come up all the way and straighten up our legs because that's a rest position. We really, really want to stay in the work as much as possible. Good. Core is nice and tight. Check in with your hips and your shoulders and your crown. Make sure they're all aligned. Our body loves to slip in little cheats. So it'll try to put that booty out. You want to be in a nice straight line. Tiny dips in four, three, two, one. Tiny dips, dip. Dip. Yes, back to those tiny dips. Keep going. Good. 
We have eight more counts, and then we're gonna lift just one heel and keep these tiny dips. In four, three, two, one. Lift one heel, tiny dips. Other heel is nice and flat on the floor. Oh, feeling that work. Good. Eight more counts. Four, three, two, one. Lift the other heel, lower the one that was just working. We're switching sides. Good. It's amazing how these little tiny movements can make such an impact on your muscles. I have a little bit of the shakes happening. I don't know about you. All right, we're coming into our finale with this movement, okay? We're almost there. We're going to lift both heels, dip, lower both heels, dip. In four, three, two, one. Lift the heel, dip, lower, dip. Lift, dip. Lower, dip. Good. You speed it up a little bit and it looks like this. <laughs> Woo! Good. Yes. We are almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to hold low. Heels up. Tiny dips. Heels up. Tiny dips. Woo! Checking with your core, engage your hips, your shoulders. Yes, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Hold low for four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so that was second position. My legs are shaking. All right, we're going to move to biceps. So if you have a pair of weights, I'm gonna use my five pounds for this. If you have weights, you can use them now. If you don't have weights, use the alternative or use nothing at all. It's all good, okay? So we're gonna come to a kneeling position and we're gonna grab our weights, okay? And as we're kneeling, if you need actually a little bit of extra cushioning under the knees, you can um, double up your mat. Or you can slide like a pillow or a blanket under there as well, okay? So we have our weights, palms facing forward. We're going to come down low, up, and bicep curl, okay? So we come down low, bicep. Good. Yeah. As if our thighs didn't have enough work, we're coming for more. <laughs> Good. Woo! Good work so far. So, we're curling, we're kneeling, we're working with our biceps, we're also working our legs. This time the front of our legs, also the glutes, and our hamstrings as we lift up. In eight counts, we're going to hold halfway with our butt, right? Halfway down. And we're going to serve the biceps out in front. We're going to do that in four, three, two, one. Hold halfway and serve these biceps out front. Yes. Good. Woo. Good work. Checking with the body. Get low in that kneel, but still wear the hammer. Like, you can feel it, but you can sit here for a while. <laughs> We're going eight, seven, woo, six, five. We're going to go back to the kneels, but we're going to go wide curls. In three, two, one, we're going to go wide curls, wide and up. So our core is engaged. Good. Wide curls. Elbows off the torso. You want to make sure that our biceps are actually doing the work here. Good work. Yes. I'm starting to sweat like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Four. Three. 
two, we're gonna hold halfway and serve them out wide. Nice, slow and control. Holding halfway. Eight, seven, oh Lord, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, you're gonna hold the biceps halfway, slide open and close. We're giving the legs a break. <laughs> Woo, biceps, you're not gonna break. We are almost at the end, keep going. Yes. Good, let's go four, three, two back to the heels or the knees, but with hammer curls right here, palms face each other and we're gonna come down and up, down and up. So we're doing a bicep curl, but it's a hammer curl. So we're getting a slightly different muscle than the regular bicep curl. Yes. <laughs> Somebody loves the camera. <laughs> Good. Let's go four, three, two, one. Hold halfway for both in four, three, two, one. Done. Okay. We're going to drop the weights. We're going to go down to the floor. And we're going to do some glute raises, okay? So, if you need extra, like if you are used to working out and you want a little bit of extra oomph, you can take your heavier weights and put them on the front of your thighs. But if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. You're going to have feet down the floor, hands down on the floor, and we're going to raise the glutes, squeeze, and back down. When we come back down, we just tap lightly and back up. Join me when you're ready. Core is nice and tight. So we're working our core, we're working our back without doing any of these crunching moves. Good. All right, we're gonna hold high in four counts. No, eight counts. <laughs> Let's give ourselves a little more time. And we're going to pulse at the top. Now in four, three, two, one. Hold at the top and pulse. So you're just lowering and lifting about an inch. Tiny movements. Squeeze at the top. Woo! Yes. Okay. If you don't feel your butt working right now, lift higher, squeeze harder. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, back to full dip. Yeah. Good work. Okay, four counts. We're gonna hold high. We're gonna lift and lower our heels. In two and one, hold high. Lift the heels and lower. Okay, you wanna hold that glute raise as high as possible. And you're squeezing your glutes, you're squeezing your butt, and you're lifting and lowering your heels. Good work. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Up and squeeze the thighs together. Now you guys have like toddlers hanging out, so little toddlers, but they're still toddlers. So if you have little babies or if your kids love it, you can always have them up onto your hips here. Um instead of the weight, but I think your little ones like to run around a little bit more. <laughs> Woo! The shakes are starting, tiny dips. Good, thighs together and squeeze together. Good, heels are still high. Four, three, two, one, full dips. Four, high, four, high, keep going. Let's go eight, seven, six, heels are down. Three, two, one, hold high for four, three, 
two, one, done. Okay, you guys, we have two more parts in this. We're gonna do our triceps. If you have light weights, grab them now, okay? Grab some water as needed. I know I need some. Okay, light weights are perfect for triceps, okay? These are brutal. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> so, we're gonna start here in kickback. We're hinged at the waist by about 30 degrees, and we're just kicking it back. When you're ready, you can join me. <laughs> Good. Okay, we're gonna go eight more like this, and then we're gonna hold them high and do tiny lifts. Okay, four, three, two, one, tiny lifts. Now, your arms are mostly long and straight, and the trick here is you wanna get them above the booty as much as possible. Next, if you are not feeling your triceps lift a little bit higher, whoo! You can easily do this without weights as well. All right, let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna hold high and squeeze our arms in right here. Hold high, squeeze. Squeeze together, just like this. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, the triceps. Woo! Yes. Good, let's go four, three, two, one. Back to the kickback. Keep going. Oh, triceps. I'm kind of regretting not putting my hair up. Oh, it started. Okay, we're just gonna commit. Let's do it. Eight more of these, and we're going to those tiny lifts again. We're almost done, okay? Tricep series are really short, because they're intense. Two, one, tiny lifts. Arms are mostly straight. That's it. Roll out the shoulders if need be. And if this is bothering your back at all, come this down straight, stretch it out again, and then get back into it. Making sure that your knees are slightly bent, okay? Good, we're almost there. If the work is too much with the weights, you drop the weights. I promise you're still gonna feel it without it. Good. We're gonna go palms facing up, and we're gonna squeeze in. In four, three, two, one, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, this one. This is our last one, let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. That was hard. <laughs> All right, we have our final movement here, okay? We're gonna be working the booty. We call it booty on the floor. So, optional movement. You can use one light weight or you can use no weight at all. It's totally up to you. So, if you're using a weight, you're gonna tuck it behind your knee and squeeze it in, okay? We're coming to a tabletop position on the floor. Core is engaged, and we're gonna do some donkey kicks. Pick whichever leg you wanna work first, we're gonna work them both. Join me when you're ready. Yes, good. So a couple tips, we don't wanna have like our booty go up and our back on the curve. We're holding strong. So by holding strong, we're doing almost like a mini cruncher with our core, okay? That's it. Let's go four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring it back knee to knee and we're gonna open and close. Lifting that shape up to the side, and then opening and closing. Good. Weight is optional, okay? You don't have to have it. Good, I'm gonna take my weight out. Keep going. We're gonna go four, three, two, one. We're gonna keep that knee bent. We're gonna lift it up, 
And we're gonna rotate from the hip. Rotate towards the other leg. This is called a scorpion tail. And we're gonna lift and lower. Okay, you keep that shape with the rotation and you're just lifting and lowering. And that one butt cheek feels like it's getting extremely tight and then loosening up. Good. Mind your core, make sure you're doing your mini cruncher so we don't have any odd back motions. Good. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold that leg long. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five. So coming up next, we're gonna go down on the forearm, opposite of the leg that is working, right here. Leg stays high, okay? And we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow, same knee, same elbow, and extend. Same knee, same elbow, and extend. I know it feels kind of funny right now, but <laughs> We pretty much do the same type of movement every week in bar. And you're gonna get really used to this routine, okay? Woo! So you're extending and squeezing. Good. Let's go four, three, two, one. Hold long, lift and lower. Good. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold high for four, three, two, one. Good. Bring both knees in. Go into child's pose. Oh, that feels good. All right, we get to do the other leg. Are you guys ready? This is it. We're ending after this. So we're gonna switch legs. Same position, mini cruncher with the core, so we're supporting the low back. Palms down, and we're going knee to knee. Donkey kicks. Now everybody's gonna have a different position or a different height of how high they can bring their legs. Some people can only go a little bit lower. Some people can go extremely high. It just depends on how your hips are made. Everybody's different. So you do what's comfortable for your body, okay? Good. Let's go four, three, two, one. Knee to knee. Open and close. Open and close. I don't know about you, but the sweat is coming. <laughs> Bar is always a killer workout. And it's these tiny movements that really make it. We're targeting our stabilizing muscles that don't normally get the work that they need. And they're getting it done here. Good. Let's go to one. Lift it up. Scorpion tail. So we're rotating from the hip. The knee is just following the shape. And then we're lifting up. Making a fist with our butt. Yes. Good. Now here, I was actually doing it. I was um, flaring out my ribs. So I'm going to go back to my cruncher. The body always tries to find ways to cheat. <laughs> Good. Let's go four, three, two, one. Leg long, lift and lower. Good, keep going. Keep going, lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, we're coming to that forearm, kind of opening up to the side, okay? And we're taking the knee to the elbow. Knee to elbow and extend. Good, point the toe if it feels okay. That's it. Knee to elbow, extend. Extend. Let's go eight. Seven, six, five, four. We're gonna do lift and lower. And two, and one, lift and lower. Good, eight, 
seven, woo, six, five to shake. Let's go, four, three, two, one, hold high for four, three, two, one. Come into child pose. Oh my goodness. We are in cool down. Come into cat cow. And we're going to now flare up, down knee at the back, tucking in the chin, and then extending out. Again, round the back, and extend out. Yes, we got to open up those hips again. One more. Good, tuck the toes under, we're gonna go into down dog. So you're pushing through your palms, Try to get your heels to touch the floor as much as you can. You can even pedal the heels if it feels good. Opening up the back of the leg. Great job. Let's walk the hands towards the feet. You can stay in a forward fold if it feels okay. And we're gonna roll up nice and slow. Good. Let's open up the arms wide. Give ourselves a really big hug. And feel that stretch in the shoulders and the back. Good. Open up again. Opposite way. Good. Back open. Come down to the floor. Up and reach high. Down to the floor. Reach high. You guys are all done. Great job. Crazy hair inclusion.